Siberian Husky versus Alaskan Malamute. Two similar yet different breeds. We're not surprised if you can't decide between a Siberian Husky and an Alaskan Malamute. Both dogs are hardworking, strong, loyal, and absolutely gorgeous, and they look a lot alike. It's true that the Husky and the Malamute have a lot in common. They're both Spitz breeds, cold weather dog bred to work hard, and they're both incredibly smart. However, there are actually quite a few differences between the breeds. Today, we will tell you Alaskan Malamute versus Siberian Husky, which is better. Number seven, both built for sledding. Thanks to their existence and during harsh, cold climates, both breeds share certain characteristics, such as plenty of fur between their toes. And since both pull sleds, they share smooth, efficient, and effortless movements. However, close examination reveals more differences than similarities. The Siberian coat is the same length over the entire body, somewhat smooth, lying, and never harsh. The mal coat is longer over the shoulders and neck, down the back over the rump, and in the breeching and plume, and has a coarse texture, describes Box Young. In addition, there are differences in the head. The mal's muzzle is bulky, whereas the Siberian's is of medium width and the Siberian has high-set ears that point straight up. However, the ears of the male should point slightly forward. High-set ears are considered a fault in the conformation ring. Finally, the Siberian is allowed to have those recognizable piercing blue eyes, but those would be a disqualifying fault in a male. According to Demon, the purpose for which each breed was developed led to the main physical differences. The Siberian Husky was bred to pull light loads over long distances, says Demon. The Alaskan Malamute was bred to pull heavy loads over short distances. I like to compare the Siberian to a marathon runner, light and nimble. The Malamute is the weightlifter, big and strong. This is evident in the weight of each breed. The Siberian Husky breed standard states that females weigh 35 to 50 pounds and males 45 to 60 pounds. In contrast, the Alaskan Malamute breed standard describes desirable freighting size 75 pounds for the female and 85 pounds for the male. Number 6. Coats and Markings If you look at a Siberian Husky or an Alaskan Malamute on their own, you may think the two breeds look a lot alike. While it's true that they do have some of the same characteristics, there are a few ways you can tell the breeds apart based on looks alone. Both the Husky and Malamute have thick, double coats. Huskies and Malamutes were bred as working dogs in cold climates, so they sport coats designed to keep them warm. Malamutes, however, tend to have longer hair than their Husky counterparts. Both breeds have similar coloring as well. They can display colors ranging from white to black to gray and even rust, though there are a few subtle differences in their markings. As puppies, huskies often have bolder, more contrasting color, but it tends to fade as a dog ages. Many huskies have face markings that resemble white masks on their faces, with coloring appearing around or over their eyes and down their noses. Malamutes tend to have more subtle coloring and also sometimes have distinguishable face markings, which the American Kennel Club describes as resembling a cap on their heads. Both dogs have white underbellies. Another notable difference between the Husky and the Malamute is their tails. While the Husky's brush tail points downward, the Malamute has a bushier tail that they carry over their back which tends to wave in the air like a feathered plume. Finally, even those who aren't very familiar with the Siberian Husky breed are at least familiar with their striking blue eyes. While not all Huskies have this feature, some Huskies may have one blue eye and one brown eye, and some have two brown eyes. It is a common feature that sets Huskies apart. Number 5. Temperament Alaskan Malamutes and Siberian Huskies have similar temperaments. 
Both dogs are very friendly, even with people they don't know. Huskies and Malamutes are also both pack animals, making them very loyal and loving. The Malamute, however, does have an independent side. They tend to relish occasional alone time and do better than Huskies as only pets. On occasion, they can be aggressive with other dogs. Huskies, on the other hand, will spend most of their time with their family, be it people or other household pets, and aren't fans of being left alone. Number 4. Exercise Whether you end up with a Siberian Husky or an Alaskan Malamute, you've got your work cut out when it comes to making sure they get enough exercise. Gina DiNardo, Executive Secretary of the AKC, explains to How Stuff Works that while both breeds have a ton of energy due to their working dog nature, they also have different ways they crave to move. According to DiNardo, Huskies were bred to pull sleds quickly, while Malamutes were bred to carry heavy loads. While they're not often needed for those purposes these days, it's still a job they can feel in their bones. In other words, Huskies are racers, Malamutes are freighters, she told the publication. She explains that Huskies prefer to run and can often get all the exercise they need in a large backyard. Malamutes, however, do better when they go on hikes or for a swim and relish the chance to carry a pack. Number 3. Training Both the Husky and Malamute are intelligent dogs, but that doesn't mean they don't need proper training. Like most breeds, they often benefit from socialization and obedience training, starting at an early age. Their high intelligence means they'll likely take to it quickly but it also means they need it even more than some breeds. They're both assertive and willful and tend to be bossy and dominant if not taught from an early age that they're not in charge. Where the breeds differ in this area is house training. According to pet guides, Malamutes tend to be much more difficult to house train than Huskies, often taking a lot of patience and persistence and paper towels before the skill is mastered. Huskies have an instinct to run and should always be on a leash when not in a fenced-in yard. Malamutes, on the other hand, aren't held back by simple fences. This breed loves to dig, no matter how much you train them not to, so any fences meant to contain them should continue into the ground. Number 2. Health Everyone wants a healthy dog, right? While it's true that we often have no control over whether our dog gets sick, we can try to choose breeds that aren't predisposed to many illnesses. Huskies and Malamutes that come from reputable breeders have likely been screened for genetic disorders and common chronic illnesses, but that doesn't mean something can't creep up later in life. Of the two breeds, Huskies are the breed with fewer health issues to watch out for. They are at risk for cataracts and should have regular exams to catch them early should they develop. As with other working dogs, Huskies may also fall victim to hip issues as they age. Malamutes, on the other hand, are predisposed to hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, thrombopathia, a platelet disorder, chondrodysplasia, dwarfism, hypothyroidism, inherited polyneuropathy resulting in nerve pain, von Willebrand's disease, bleeding disorder, and day blindness. All of this means that if you decide on a Malamute, a reputable breeder is more important than ever. Number 1. Which breed is better for you? Like the Siberians, Mals are affectionate and friendly dogs. Along with running, they love to be with their people and to eat. Adults are fairly calm and will happily lay with you while you relax, but they are just as keen to be active with you. Whether it's the powerful Mal or the creative Siberian, these are two breeds of exceptional beauty and athleticism. Both breeds are loyal and loving fur balls that are sure to bring you great amounts of joy, but they also both come with their fair share of issues and responsibilities. Both the Husky and the Malamute are very high energy, so it's important that any potential owner be willing to devote time each and every day to exercise. Without that, you'll not only have a bored, unhappy dog, but probably a destroyed home. If you think the Husky or Malamute are the dogs for you, be prepared to break the bank. 
Husky and Malamute puppies are pretty comparably expensive, ranging from $800 to $2,000 from AKC-approved breeders. Do let us know in the comments which one of them you've decided to get. Please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.